take 15. Action! Hello! Oh, hello! Welcome to Missy Breakfast Club. Nice to see you. We're in our kitchen, as you can, well, no, you can't see. This is our kitchen. There's me, there's Ros, and there's yeah. Catherine, the clapperboard queen. Yeah. And we're going to be doing messy breakfast here, like we normally do at church. The, all the usual things, Ros? Yeah, we're going to have uh, activities. Um, we've sent you some templates by email. If you're watching this on Facebook and you haven't had the templates, I'm really sorry. Um, all you need to do is contact us, message us through Facebook, and we'll send them to you, and you can do the activities too. And if you want to um, pause the video and do the um, activities while we're, while we're um, actually going through, then you're very welcome to do that, and then just come back and join us when you're ready. That'd be great. And okay. songs. And songs, we've got some songs, we've yeah. got a guitar here. All of that, yeah. So, in for a good time. Yes. Yeah. The theme. Oh, yes, the theme. The theme. Okay. Yes, oh, the theme. Yes. yes, here we are. Let's just take my dressing gown off. Okay, oh, yes, we could do that. Yes, okay. And behind us, you can see our fruit tree, which we began back in January, if you remember. We talked about we were a bit like a tree and we can bear fruit. And uh, the fruit is ninefold, like these nine pears. Is it nine? It is nine. You were going to get me to count them. No, but, uh, you've yeah, got okay. to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. I was right. Spirits. There were yeah. right, nine. Okay. And uh, so, and then in February, we did the first of these pairs. Da -da -da -da. Love. Love. And so today, it's March. Joy. It's joy. So yes. we're going to look at joy today. But first, we're going to sing a little song that we introduced and we've done the last two times yeah. about the pear tree, and it's based on the Dingle Dangle Scarecrow song, you remember? So we're all going to sort of uh, go down, like we normally Join do. Join in with us. Join in if you can, or just laugh. When, when all the, the land, land was sleeping, the rain fell from a cloud, up grew the pear tree and shouted very loud. I my dingle dangle pear tree and my pears are big and fat. I can shake my trunk like this. I can shake my leaves like that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, just to start with, what do we mean by joy? And joy and happiness often get confused. They are very similar, but happiness is when life is good. You're feeling good. Everything's going really well. Whereas joy is something that you choose. It's also a fruit of the tree. So when you have a relationship with God, it's something that can come through from that relationship, just feeling very secure and loved. Mm -hmm. um, but it can be any circumstance. So like now, when we're facing something a little bit unknown, a little bit uncertain mm. um, with this virus, and we're having to stay indoors, which is a bit mm. boring. Mm. Ooh. Um, we can still we can still have joy. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a, a choice and a fruit. Okay, that's it. We've got a little experiment, haven't we? Yeah, I've got an experiment. Oh. I'm going to take over. So, have you ever heard the phrase "jumping for joy," or have you ever been so excited you just want to jump around? Yeah, well, wow. well, we have some science to work with that. So this is called jumping for joy grapes. And what I have is I have one cup of water and Kevin is going to put some soda water in my other one. And we're just going to have a little look at the difference between the grapes. So this is my water. I'm going to put one grape in, another grape in. Oh, look, they just sink to the bottom, which isn't very good. Let's have a look at our soda water. I'm going to put one grape in again. And then another one. And if you have a look, can you see the grapes are jumping for joy? Kevin, can I give this to you? Thank you. <laughs> so can you see? So they're jumping up and down because they're so joyful. <laughs> and the science behind that is, let's use this way. <laughs> the science behind that is that grapes in the water they just sink because they're really heavy. But when we put them in soda water, the carbon dioxide bubbles join to the grapes and it lifts them up. It lifts their spirits, which makes them jump up. And then when they pop, they go back down. But it's okay, because they're not down for long. They'll come back up when they're lifted for joy. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Lucas. So that yeah. is our yeah. grapes that jump for joy. So if you have soda water and grapes at home, why not give it a try? Roz, do you want to do our next? Yes. Brown, that's empty. Are there any bubbles? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we've got to sing a song. Okay, yes. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Let's sing that song instead. Okay, so thinking of bubbles, Ross, you want to feel the bubbles? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is so exciting. Let's have a little check. Hooray! Hooray! Okay. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the butter to see if it could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap, and now he's sick in bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ha! And again. Oh. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. Templates that we we sent through, you would have had a flower like this and some leaves. And um, the idea is that you colour these in uh, and cut them out, and the same with the leaves. And then you use some of the spare paper to make the stalk for the flower. And this is uh, here's one I made earlier. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. In the middle. In the middle of the flower, it says, my mum is, now you can't see the words on each of them, but you have to put words on each of the petals to describe what your mum's like, because it's also Mother's Day on Sunday, and we were so sad that people were going to miss that, we thought it'd be really nice to have an activity, because our mums bring us joy, sometimes, <laughs> uh, don't they? <laughs> and um, so on, on, on the one that I've made, I've got things like, my mum is funny. Special, kind, forgiving, loving, creative. You'd have different words for your mum, but it'd be really important to uh, to do that. So colour everything in, cut it out, stick it down on a piece of, uh, can be any card, doesn't have to be a black piece of card. Um, colour it in brightly um, and then give it to your mum uh, for Mother's Day, just to show that you love her. Yeah. I think... I think we've got some songs to go we've with got, that. So we've got one about flowers. We've got one about flowers, okay. So, um, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. I think you want that one. Yeah. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and crumble shells and pressing gates all in a row. And pressing gates all in a row. I think we've got another song, haven't we, about delivering letters and things? Yes. Because well, it's Mother's Day. Because it's Mother's Day. They, they, might, some they might get some letters. Yeah. 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 Singing, all the first 
Okay, because it's Mothering Sunday, we were trying to think of songs that had mother in them. Yeah. And there's a mother duck in this one. So it's five little ducks went swimming one day. Yeah. And they're very clever ducks because they swim over hills. Think about it. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 and only four little ducks came back. that haven't actually quite finished. Now, the idea is that you, you do a joy painting. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but um, you, you basically use, what's the name of that tape? Masking, masking tape. tape. Masking, masking tape. tape, yeah. So you, you um, put some masking tape on a, a piece of paper and then you paint all around it and over it. And the idea is then that you take the masking tape off and it should say, joy. Oh yes. Now, let me just see if it does. <laughs> Trouble is the paint and that's still joy wet. within all the chaos of the colours. Yes, that's right? right. Yes, yeah. That's very good. Oh, it's not working. Uh, this is it. This is well, well, it's good to well. Yes, please. Yes, could you do one of the other letters? That would be really helpful. I'll just stand and watch. Ah. Okay, so what they're doing is they're taking off the masking tape. I'll give you a little running commentary. They're taking off the masking tape, which is very exciting. And, uh, and very messy, but then of course this is messy breakfast, so that's what it's all about. So we've got the Y, I'm not sure why, but we've got the Y. Yeah, the Y's come off. Here we go. Catherine's struggling with the J, uh, and Roz... No, I'd just like to point out it was Catherine's idea, it's Catherine's idea. not to do it beforehand, because oh, she yes. thought it would be more fun. Do you want to show them halfway? Show them halfway. Yeah, yeah no, let's not do that. We'll do that. Okay. okay. Oh, no. Okay. The J um, is growing. <laughs> oh no! Okay, okay. Right. Uh, we're almost there. We've just got a little bit more O to do. We've got we've got the J, we've got the Y. I uh, think it looks good. I think it's, it's actually it's not bad, is it? Hmm. Okay. And, it's a uh, success! The great reveal. Ta -da! Oh. That's it. Yes. I'm sure you can do it better than me, but uh, yeah. Have a go at that. Yeah. Uh, lots of messy paint. Mum will love it. Mm-hmm. But if your mum doesn't let you have paint, because my mum doesn't let me have paint, uh -huh. we have an alternative, uh -huh. which is our colouring for this week that says, today I choose joy, because Ros has told us that joy is a choice, and that we can choose to be joyful even when times are tough. And we had quite a good thought, didn't we, Ros? that you could share this joy and you could put it up oh, yeah. in your window. So I don't know if people have seen what's going around, but lots of things have been put in windows for people who are self-isolating but still going around and walking. So you could share your choice for joy and put this up in your window. Or likewise, you could join things that make you happy. So I might draw a cat or you might draw a rainbow and just share the joy around in your window. So that even if you're not seeing people face to face, you're still making them happy. And surely that's got to be worth it, hasn't yeah. it? Could be a picture of mum. Mom could be a picture that. of mum. Yeah. If your mum makes you joyful, draw a picture of your mum. Yes. Or your gran, because my gran makes me joyful. <laughs> and on that note, a song. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Mm. Now, I know this song. We've adapted it, so. Okay, one of those. Mm. Instead of if you're happy, you know it. Yeah. Well, start off with happy. Mm. Shall we? Okay, yeah, start off with happy. Happy hands. Happy hands, you know it. Happy hands. 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 Happy
from the first part of the Bible, the Old Testament, and it's when the people were feeling a bit miserable like um, we are today, really. Um, they come back to their land after quite a long period away, and uh, it was really hard. They, the land was in ruins, the farmland was messed up, they couldn't get enough to eat. Uh, they, they went back to their houses and they were all fallen over and decrepit, and uh, they just felt miserable. And there are two people, two characters, a guy called Ezra and a guy called Nehemiah. And they said, come on, we need to work together and start rebuilding. So they had a task. And then the other thing they did was they, um, because their houses were in ruins, they started building little shacks, little tents. They got sticks and things and built tents. And it was one of the things that Moses had said they could do, to live outside, close to nature, and find joy in the things around them. So for seven days, they lived, it was called the Festival of Shelters. They built themselves little shelters, and they just had a great time outside. And maybe that's what we need to do during this period. If we can get outside into our gardens, if we've got a garden, or go to the park. I know we have to stay a little bit of a distance from other people, just to be on the safe side. But we can be out there, we can see the flowers, the beautiful flowers that are growing, and the trees coming into blossom, and we can see dogs enjoying themselves running around and there's all kinds of things that can bring us joy and what Nehemiah said to the people was the joy of the Lord is your strength <coughs> so it gives you strength to carry on so our prayer is that you know if things are a bit tricky and difficult that you'll ask God to give you that joy and find it <coughs> not just with mum and with the relationships that you have but also in creation in nature okay get out there like the the Jews did, to spend some time outside, and that will lift your spirits. When you see the flowers coming through, and even though it's windy, the, dandy, the um, daffodils are still there, um, even though they're very fragile, they're still being beautiful. And So enjoy the outside, find joy in your relationship with one another, and your relationship to God. Does that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, all right. So... So we thought, because oh, yes. we can't be with you, we, but we wanted to share something with you. We are going to teach you a messy grace, okay? So we're, I'm going to start by going through each line, showing you the actions. Sorry. And then we'll go through all together as one well once we've learned the actions. So you're going to start with your arms out like you're being given a present. And we start with the grace of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Then we're going to put our hands on our heart. And then the love, love of God. God. And then we're going to hold hands. And the and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with, with us all, all forevermore. Ever and then we're going to lift up arms and say, Amen. Amen. Okay. Do we think we've got it? Yeah. So it goes, gift, grace, grace our and then our heart. heart. Then our hands together in fellowship. And then Amen. Okay. Ready? Okay. Set. So, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Okay. Right. Now we just need a little bit of excuse now to finish off with. Okay. I think we need some bubbles. I think we do. Okay. It's our end music. Alright. Wow! Join along! Dance the bubbles! <laughs>